Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Today, we are doing some cleanup out here at the farm. It's been long, long overdue. We have grapevines that have been growing up our silo, and I know some of you have mentioned for a long time, you know, why don't you get your grapevines down and all that stuff. Well, we're finally getting to it, thanks to some help from William. He's been working hard and um, has taken a lot of, of this down. And I love to make grapevine wreaths, so huh, I got some material here. But anyways, Jim has not been able to hook um, Duke and Earl up for a couple weeks. Just there's a lot of different things going on. We were at the DAPnet. If you missed footage on that, you can check that out. We have some three videos on that. But um, he has them hooked up this morning. Well, he has one of them hooked up with Ken. And it is starting to rain, but we're just going to do it anyways. He's got them hooked on the, the scoot, um, working together. So we're going to catch up with, with them in a minute here. And they're going to help us haul some stuff away. It's good to do just a little bit of work with them. So let's, let's catch up with them. They are coming around the corner here. But before they do, I just wanted to show you that we still have our tiling here. We're still waiting for them to show up and um, start tiling our field in the back. But here's Ken, and it looks like Earl. We recently had a bunch of rain, and now it's raining again, which makes this sled, or scoot, whatever you want to call it, pull a little bit easier. But he's going to take them over there, and we'll put the grapevines on there. I think William made the greatest, the biggest grapevine wreath yet got it all rolled up here. October so we still haven't had a frost but we expect it any any time now
what I'm concerned with is when we start a fire here, you don't want the water fire to come this way and then she jump into the tail. Yeah. Because it starts to reach. It would start easy. Um, we'll just swing on there, take a little closer and see if we can possibly do that. Okay, so they were just trying to figure out exactly where to put this. This is like our burn pile when the conditions are right. We just burn junk and wood and whatnot. Oh. Do we want to do it all at once? Just the top stuff first. Oh, we could do that too. If that pull fire would be a lot easier. You can carry that easy. William, is it heavy or is it just bulky? Yeah, it's just bulky. That's what I thought. I'm just holding this down. Okay. You can walk up that saddest pile. Possibly mm -hmm. toss that over the top would be good. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay. Hey, did you tell everybody our grandkids just left? Yeah, yep. I just told everybody the grandkids left. We had a great time. They were out jumping on the bales again. And, um,. Our little granddaughter, Winnie, who's five months, met the horses for the first time, and she even, Jim, of course, had to stand her up on Bree's back for a second. We loved having them. Second. Okay, if you could go back and get the pull that stuff off like oh. you were doing, and Brenda and I can take a look around the field. Okay. Thanks, William. It's great. And it will soon be time to do something with the corn, right? It'll still be a little while before we There is still some green in there. I told everybody we haven't literally had a frost here yet. So we'll go around the field. Mm -hmm. um, I do have. I've already been around the field once with these guys. Ah, ah, yeah. The cows do look happy over there, and I, I know everybody can't see, but there's a bunch of Canada geese hanging out down below. See them down there? With the cows, down beyond, beyond the cows. So, you talked about the talent guy. That he hasn't showed up yeah, yet? Yeah, he's, he's supposed to show up today, and but uh, I'm not going to do anything until he actually shows up. But anyways, um, we need to move all the cows out of there, and we'll put them over into the pasture over there and I'm just going to have to feed round bales because there's not any feed left in that pasture. We have plenty of feed still in this field and even in this piece right here we could put a fence around here and it's got a lot of feed and we're not going to tile this but I just soon get them completely out of the tiler's way and uh, I'm sure the tilers would appreciate that yeah. too. <laughs> it's not supposed to take too many days to do this job. I have to might have noticed this is uh, going to be a Wednesday video and on Monday I did not have a, a Monday video and we just have had so much going on and the weather hasn't been such that we can do a lot with the horses and it's just one of those things so I did not get a video out on Monday and uh, I'm actually thinking about cutting back down to two videos a week instead of three. I originally started out with two and then we have so much stuff to share because of our life on the farm that there's enough stuff to, to do for three videos a week. I can do a video every single day because we're doing stuff almost every single day with the horses. But it's just, it's just taking me too much time and I've got work that I gotta get done. So we are thinking about cutting back two days a week. I'm trying to decide which days I want to do that. It works, whether it's Monday, Friday, or Wednesday, Friday, or I don't know what I want to do. If, um, you have any, if you have any thoughts about that, share with us what you think. Days of the week or whatever. We'll go get another load of stuff and dump that and then that will be um, Earl's work for the day and this afternoon, depending on the weather, I may go, the guys may show up for the tile stuff and so I'll be busy with them or I may go cut some logs or I may take Bill and Bear into the woods and cut and skid logs, who knows what I'll do. How do you think Earl's doing? You know, he's doing great. That's wonderful. 
it just he, he's a little slow at times because he's a cold. Um, sometimes a little slow to start. Um, but no, he's doing excellent. Just seems to work so nicely to have, you know, to put um, horses with Ken. And it doesn't matter the last few times, it was a couple weeks ago, but the last few times we did Duke, he was the same way. He's very good. So you went by these tiles already with Ken? Yes, and he freaked out a little bit. I was wondering. Yeah, it didn't bother Earl, but... I was glad to think in my mind that you'd already done this once. And this is the second time through this little uh, tunnel here, kind of, between the with the wagons on one side and, and Duke and the, and, the, and the tiles on the other side. And uh, he probably still will kind of watch things pretty closely, watch his ears. You can tell he's, he's, uh, he's concerned but he should be fine. It's not the boogie monster, Ken. So these are large rolls of tire. They are. You can see him looking are. at them. Like, what Ken, is that? That's a big horse. Oh, oh. Just a minute. Yeah, they are big, you know, compared to Ken. Whoops. Earl could care less. supposed to stand with the lines? I don't know if you heard that, but Jim said the sled is actually working better than a pickup, so that's one good thing. This is something I've wanted to have done for a long time and it just is, you know, kind of low on the list, but it just worked out today as we were waiting for other things to take place um, that we had time to do this. So I'm really glad about that. I know. Well, we've had so many people ask about the silo tops and um, if you've been with us for a long time, you know already about them but um we did build the tops on top of the silos because the one on the left when we moved here 30 years ago did not have any top on it and the one on the right we um some amish built for us and when we were milking cows we 
chopped corn and filled the silo. And Jim's been um, dreaming of doing that again just a little bit for the beef cow and cows and maybe next year we will. And that would be really fun to show you guys. Um, but he and um, Levi and some other people that were working with us over time built those two silo tops. They put them, they built them up there, you know, got the wood up there and built them. But they um, did it when the silos were full. So if they did fall, it wouldn't be such a long ways down. I did write about that in a blog post a long while back. If you want to check that out, it's on our, um, our website. I think they should come down. I hate to say that because I don't want you to go up there, but I really think it'd be great if they... What do you think? I've always been kind of glad we weren't doing silage anymore because I hate it when Jim had to climb up the silo. I really don't like that. There is a like a um, there's a cage around it when you get up a certain height, but it's still like you know a long ways up there. William if you minded at all with heights. I personally don't have a problem with heights at all. I'm glad to do it, but he's younger than me, so if he wants to do it. It's like a bird's nest right there. Hopefully it doesn't go have to go up far before it all just comes down. There it goes. Yay! Goes another bird's nest. Let's see what kind it is. See if there's any horse hair in there. There usually is in the nests around here. I bet some people, there's some like little um, pieces of, it looks like um, from a grain bag. It's probably a, yeah, I see some horse hair. Um, I think, I think nests are just fascinating. The birds build nests with their beaks, it's just unbelievable. We usually keep one and put it in our Christmas tree every year. I might keep it. Looks wonderful. And the star up on the top, it's got Christmas lights on it, but the lights unfortunately don't work. But the year that my dad died, which was about five or six years ago, um, when it was right around Christmas time or right before it was like the end of November and um, I was coming home I a little later than my kids got home they were all waiting here for Thanksgiving I think is how it went anyways I came up the road and they had put that star up on top of the silo and lit it up in memory of their grandfather and my dad so that was really, that's really special. Unfortunately, it's hard to keep the lights functional up there. Okay, let's go and load this. I'll just keep this for now.
Let's go around the corner. We'll get that spot. Right now, we're coming ahead of that. It'd be really great if you maybe this burdock could get burned up. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little um, project today. Thanks for coming along and taking time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> shit.